guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and join the family because I would love to have you here. So as you can see from the title below today, we're gonna be diving into some fall soft glam realness. This is also, I would say, my go-to glam for any special occasion. It's just one of those makeup looks that just complement any vibe. I'm talking like nice, sultry, warm tone eyes. But before I go ahead and zoom you guys in closer, I really wanna say thank you so much to Valor for sponsoring today's video. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity of this sponsorship because if you guys have been watching or following me on any of my platforms for a long period of time, you already know I swear by Velour Lashes. I think they're the only lash brand that I've been using for years organically. And it's mainly because I feel like you get high quality lashes that last you a long period of time. I love creating content and I love doing my makeup. I love getting glam. So having lashes that I can continuously reuse is super important to me. But I really wanted to take two seconds to put you guys on to this lash kit. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen me talk about it. This is their twice is nice vegan luxe limited edition lash kit whether you want to gift it to yourself or a loved one it's a set that's worth your coin because not only do you get two lashes from the vegan luxe collection which is my favorite collection from velour as you know because that's the one that you get the drama for that's for the full glam okay and it also comes with a full size of their lash adhesive and this is the only lash glue that i have been using for years because i have extremely sensitive eyes and a lot of the times certain lash glues would burn my eyes or they won't hold your lashes in place when you're going out in a belt you don't want the corners lifting and then you're out here in these streets looking all kinds of crazy we don't have time for that ain't nobody got time for that and i swear by this white adhesive or their clear adhesive so definitely go ahead and check this out you have two beautiful lashes here you have the style can't be tamed which you guys know is one of my favorite lashes from the brand i use it so often and then we also have another beautiful lash style called serendipity that's the one i'm gonna go in with today since in my instagram we went in with can't be tamed i really want to show you what this lash style looks like as well but we're gonna be diving to that more towards the end of this video so make sure you guys stay tuned for that because you know once we get into lashes you'll see all this goodness and also let me know in the comments below if you guys would like a full how to apply lashes beginner friendly step-by-step -step video I can do that for you guys as well so thank you again Valor for sponsoring today's video and with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in closer and let's get into today's look so we're gonna start off with our eyes because you guys know I'm an eyeshadow before base type of girl. I'm gonna be picking up this palette from Dose of Colors. It's a collab with Shayla. If you guys don't know who Shayla is, I feel like she's one of the OG content creators when it comes to the beauty space. And I learned so much from her growing up, to be honest, off YouTube. So I'm really excited to dive into her palette today. And this is what the shades look like in the palette. This shade broke in shipping, unfortunately. So I had to pack it back in. That's why it looks like it's in shambles. But other than that, the whole palette is beautiful. So I'm gonna start off by picking up this shade right over here. I just love a nice brown warm tone as my transition color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And then I'm just taking a clean brush just to blend out the edges because you know we love a flawless blend over here. And next I'm gonna go in with this dark brown shade just to intensify the crease. You guys know I love to do this to add definition into the eye, especially when we go in with our shimmer. It just gives chef's kiss, okay? All right guys, so I just went ahead and quickly carved out my crease. You guys know the drill. I went in with my Sigma eyeshadow base in the shade Persuade. So now we're gonna dive back into the Dose of Colors and Shayla palette. And I feel like I'm gonna go in with this shade right over here because it's like a nice light gold shimmer. And that's the vibes I normally go for when it comes to this soft glam look. Fair warning, don't be like me. Make sure you tap off the access because when you tap your brush into this palette, the fallout is a lot for the shimmers. It can get very messy. So you're gonna wanna make sure you really dust off that fallout. And this is exactly why I like to do my eyeshadow first because you never know what you're gonna get when it comes to fallout. And I feel like all this mess that I'm getting right now, it doesn't matter to me because I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it away with Marcella water right after. So I feel like if you're an eyeshadow newbie, definitely do your eyes first. If you get a little messy, you can clean it up. It's, it's a lot easier, okay, if that makes sense. And then now I'm just taking that brown shade that we used as our transition color and just blending it into our gold shimmer very, very lightly, just so that there's like a nice gradient effect between the shades. You guys know I love to do this because I feel like it just makes the whole eye look very seamless. So I'm gonna leave the eyes as is and we're gonna dive into complexion. And I'm gonna start off to prime with my Super Goop SPF 50 Glow Stick. Now that we're in fall and it's kind of cold, my skin starts to get really dry in the colder seasons. So I really don't 
don't bother to go in with a blurring primer anymore just because my skin just needs all the hydration it can get using more oil-based products and I feel like this is just such a good one because not only are you getting SPF but it's an oil which my dry skin just eats up and absorbs and then it also makes my foundation look flawless and skin-like. I know this can be very intimidating because it could be super greasy especially if you're an oily skin girl but this is a hack for us dry skin babes who are struggling out here, okay? This is gonna give you that moisture. This is gonna give you that beautiful glow. And then to color correct, I'm actually gonna try a tip that I learned from Jackie Ina, Auntie Jackie, which is another beauty OG period, okay? So I'm gonna be taking this new concealer from Too Faced. This is their Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer. I'm gonna take the shade Caramel Drizzle. It's a little dark for me. I wouldn't really use it as a concealer shade, but I'm gonna use it to color correct because Jackie Ina actually says that going in with a darker concealer to color correct sometimes can be like a little bit better than going in with like an orange hue to just really cancel out that hyperpigmentation. I've never tried this method before, so I thought I would give it a try today. And I'm just gonna go ahead with my beauty blender to blend that out. And for foundation, I'm gonna be taking this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is their beautiful skin foundation. I'm in the shade number nine, Warm. And I really love the finish of this foundation. I know a lot of people are like 50-50 split on it, but I feel like I get so many compliments when I wear this foundation. So I'm just gonna go ahead with a little bit of that and just like distribute that product evenly. And then just taking my sponge to really blend that in. And then I'm just taking the back end of my clean beauty blender to just really blend that out even more. I feel like the main way to get a flawless base is you really need to take time blending it out, guys. Because if you don't really blend it out, I feel like it doesn't really seep into the skin as well. I'm loving how that looks, so I'm gonna go in with some concealer now. I'm gonna be taking this concealer from Dior Beauty. It's one of my favorite concealer formulas, as you guys know. And this is their Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I'm gonna be taking this shade for Warm Olive. I'm only going in with this concealer underneath the eyes because I just want to brighten up the under eye and I'm also gonna use it to carve out and kind of like snatch and lift up our eyeshadow I love doing this all the time because I feel like it just gives my eyes such a beautiful lifted look See, I love how that just really brightened up the under eye when I go in with a full glam like this because I just feel like it brings the whole look to life. But the key, I feel like, to a nice bright under eye is not to go too bright because then when you take pictures, especially if it's a nighttime setting, all you see is your under eyes and that's just not cute, okay? And then just to set the under eyes, I'm gonna be taking this powder puff that I got off Amazon and I'm just gonna be picking up some of my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Banana Bread. This powder has just been so good to my under eyes, guys, especially with how dry my skin is as of late. I feel like my skin has been really enjoying this powder. And when I recently went to an event, I got so many compliments on how smooth my under eye looked surprisingly. And I was just like, oh, thank you. TikTok did not lie. Like the Huda Beauty powder is where it's at. And I feel like I will always be a Laura Mercier girl, but this powder guys, if you have dry skin, I'm telling you, this will have your under eye or even if you don't have dry skin, but mainly for those of us who can't, you know, tolerate certain powders because of our dry skin this will have your under eye looking so airbrushed i mean like look at that it's giving flawless period okay and i'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the other side gotta make sure you do not set your under eyes with any creases because then you can't get it out once you set and that's just not cute so i'm gonna make sure to just pack this in and i never bake because like i said dry skin baking don't work so i just go ahead and set and dust it away right away so i'm gonna go ahead now with some bronzer and i'm gonna be taking my fenty beauty bronzer as you can see it's well love she is about to be deceased because i've been abusing this bronzer since my charlotte tilbury literally hit pan and broke all over my carpet it was a hot mess guys but it was really telling me like sis enough is enough you have used me enough go to another bronzer pick somebody else pick somebody else Pick somebody else. I don't, I'm not, I'm not addressing this crowd right now. Please pick somebody else. I'm at a 10. Literally what my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer was saying to me. So now I've been going back into my other fave from Fenty. It's just so beautiful. I love a warm bronze toned all year round. I know some people prefer more of a contour shade as it gets into the more colder seasons. Personally for me guys, I just feel like a bronzer just complements my skin tone so much better. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to blend this out and just, you know, warm up our skin. Add some definition into the cheeks. 
And now for highlight, I'm gonna be taking my favorite highlighting palette. It's from Huda Beauty. This is their Rich Glow Obsessions palette. I just reach for this every single day. Like, honestly, my favorite, favorite highlight palette. Like, get into that, guys. How beautiful of a glow is that? So now what I'm gonna do is go back into the Dose of Colors Wifey palette and just take that same brown shade that we used as our transition color and just smudge that shade into our waterline so that it can really bring that sultry look to light. I'm gonna make sure to put a little bit of the Huda Beauty powder right underneath so that none of the fallout ruins our face. And then I'm just gonna go in with a black eyeliner from Hourglass. So now that we're done with the eyes, it's time to dive into the star of the show of today's video, which is the Twice As Nice Vegan Luxe Lash Kit from Velour. We're gonna dive into the Lash Style Serendipity. And like I mentioned earlier, it comes with a full size of the Velour Lash Adhesive, which is hyperallergenic and it's a mess-free, ultra tacky, clear drying lash glue. If you have sensitive eyes, this is the one. And both the lashes in the lash kit are part of their Vegan Luxe Lash Collection, which is my favorite lash collection from Velour. It's what I use on a regular basis, whether it's for filming or if I'm going out. I'm just obsessed with this collection. One thing I love about Velour is that they're a 100% vegan and cruelty-free luxury lash brand. And for these particular lashes in this kit, you can reuse them 25 times, which is amazing. So you're gonna get a lot of wear out of your lash. Lashes. That's why I feel like they're beyond worth it, to be honest. And for our lip combo, I'm gonna start off with the Dose of Colors She's Ready Lip Liner. It's a beautiful brown. And then in the center, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte Lipstick in the shade Toffee at All Hours. And then I'm gonna top it off with the Dose of Colors Glass Slipper Lip Gloss. But I honestly really like how this looks. This has been my like go-to fall peachy orangey tone lip. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but I feel like this nude is like like a really nice, simple way to get into the fall vibes and it can complement any makeup look, really. And yeah, guys, that brings me to the end of this tutorial. The face is giving and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did filming it for you guys. Always make sure to let me know in the comments what types of videos you would like to see from me next or just come say hi because I love talking to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe and join the family because I would love to have you here. And shout out again to Velour for sponsoring today's video because these lashes really did bring the whole entire look to life. I am obsessed. Thank you so much for watching and like always, I'll see you in my next video.